What's up guys, this is Greg Aman. I'm here to give a quick overview of Virgil, who is one of three new playable characters in Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Virgil is returning from Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, and uh, his rendition in this game is largely based off that template. He's got a few new concepts added, including uh, some of his elements from DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, making for basically the definitive version of the character to date. There's a lot you can do with this character. He's very versatile. I think he'll be welcoming to newcomers and veteran players alike. So let's go ahead and take a look. So basically he's got three major melee weapons. He's got the Yamato, which is sort of his signature sword. It's a Japanese sword. You can see he mostly keeps it in his sheath. This is based on the real-life sword fighting style, Iaijutsu, which I know is a mouthful. It's also got the Force Edge, which is this sort of broadsword. And this makes him fight a little bit more like Dante. You can see uh, some of these animations are a little reminiscent of uh, some of Dante's moves, uh, but there are some differences. And then he's got the Beowulf Gauntlets, which are a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. They're very heavy hitting. You can charge attacks. You can actually ch you can charge every attack in the combo if you want. And you can do dive kicks, spin moves, all that good stuff. Uh, and you can switch uh, across all three of these weapons on the fly, even mid-combo, making some really flashy combos come together if you're good. Uh, meanwhile, he's also got, uh, instead of guns, he, he doesn't like guns, so instead of that he has the Summoned Swords, which are these projectiles. And you'll level these up over the course of the game. You can see I can shoot a lot of these at a time right now. Uh, but they also do use the Devil Trigger Gauge to do some special moves, like uh, if you hold the shoot button down, he does Spiral Swords. This is a nice compliment to any combo. Uh, you've got blistering swords. And you can hold this for as long as you want. You can even rain them from the sky. And lastly, this is new to 4 Special Edition. This is based on DMC Double May Cry, but he can use the summon sword to embed it into an enemy and then travel right to where the enemy is. So you can basically reposition yourself on the map at any time, meaning Virgil can traverse quicker than any other character in the game. Um, very quickly. You can even use it to interrupt uh, your attack animations. So the other new mechanic they've added for Virgil is the concentration gauge. You see that blue meter in the upper left? That will fill the more you concentrate, which in gameplay terms means you're standing close enough to the enemy that you're in danger, and you're not whipping attacks, you're not getting hit, and you're not running around needlessly. The idea is that Virgil is all about economy of movement, so you shouldn't be doing a lot of unnecessary motions, and the game rewards you for that. The incentive for getting that concentration gauge up is that his attack power will increase significantly, uh, his range also increases a bit, and it gives him access to this move. This is the Judgment Cut End. It requires level 3 concentration and use of the Devil Trigger, but as you can see, it's quite powerful. Another thing that's kind of special about Virgil is that his Devil Trigger will cause certain moves to behave differently. Here you can see the Rapid Slash becomes very true to its name. You can basically dish it out as fast as you can push the button. Whew. Virgil as a character is a little more in touch with his dark side, so he definitely makes the most of his Devil Trigger. And I'm going to shut up now and let you just watch some combat. Look forward to one of these character videos every week for the next five weeks. And don't forget to check out our live streams every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time over on Twitch TV. Thanks for watching.